Right guys, so this is the um, this is the walk up to village lump from the top of Beacon Road just off the main road where the eagle and child is It's not, it doesn't take too long to get up to the top from here, but from beyond the lump, there's a, a woods, and then beyond the woods are further walks, and you can go and get yourself lost in nature, clear your head, enjoy the surroundings. Look at that, look at that for a view from here. So this is one of my favourite spots when I can't get out to any other um, further locations. I like to uh, get myself over here. One of the places that we can appreciate within the St Helens boundary, St Helens and Wigan boundary. We come up to the top of this kind of hill and then uh, we get to the service road so you can park at the top of this at the bottom of the service road which goes right around that way which is like a it's just a paved roadway which will get you to the bottom of here where uh, gonna go now it does get a bit a little bit muddy from this point but if I carried on that way that would take me down to the bottom towards Eddleston's playing fields it's a nice little area so we're gonna go right here I think then I'm gonna go right here and we're going to go and head up to the top of the lump. got two options you can step through you can go through this gate here you can just step over here and you can go left over that way over the fields but we're going to carry straight on up I'm going to stop it here because it's it's fairly the same so this is where it gets a bit rocky now and a bit muddy we're gonna go up to uh, up to the lump. Hi, pal. the lump there. Let's go this way. There you go. That's what I've used. So this is 
the view from the top. Right, so that's the lump. That's the Billings lump. We're going to head down towards the woods now. Hi, Paul. Right. So, but it, this is probably maybe a little similar to the walk up that we've just done. Just to take us to the, um, probably a bit shorter actually, just to take us to the uh, entrance to the woodland. So this is uh, managed by the Woodland Trust. And uh, it's, I don't know much history on this place, but it looks like it was like a, a wood farm or whatever they call them, a managed woodland that's been hand planted farmed and obviously now it's just a an open place to walk and enjoy alone or with friends and family just walk a few more a few more steps in and we'll leave it there guys I'll go around here like this, look. See you later.